65 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 67 degrees. Well, hey everyone, I'm back today for what's turning out to be a beautiful November day already, except for, of course, the wind. The wind is always here. Today we're taking advantage of the nicer weather. I'm actually in a t-shirt right now. It doesn't happen too much during November time, so I've gotta take advantage of that. Let's go over a few things today as to what's happened since the last video, how everything still continues to look here going into the later fall and into the winter season. So of course in the last video, I said that it was going to be the last mow of the season, but you know, here's what happened after that. We got about an inch to an inch and a half of rain and the lawn had been so dry before that and I had turned off my irrigation that once we got that rain, it sort of shot up and looks a lot better right now. Now you can definitely tell it's still going into dormancy mode, but with this warmer temperatures that we have been having with that water, I think there's time enough today to do another mow here. If I have the opportunity, of course I'm going to do that because that's what we do here. I was also curious to see where soil temperatures we're at right now, so let's take a look. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but 47.3.4, right around there. So of course things are going to slow down quite a bit once you get to those 40 soil temperatures, and also the sun intensity is so much lower now as well. So I was just kind of curious where we're at with soil temperature. You know that fluctuates quite a bit just depending on even day to day how your weather's doing. Since it's been warm here, it's actually come up quite a bit. It was closer to 40 even in the 30s for a little stretch there earlier this fall. Still waiting for that tree over there to be done. Of course more leaves are down, but... This oak tree is done now and all those leaves are pretty much right there. So I probably will do maybe another mow today on just cleaning up leaves, but we'll see. So the last time that I mowed with this, I could tell that the blades were getting a little dull. It's not really surprising. I've used this for the whole season since I got it uh, late spring and been using it pretty consistently every other day during the season, sometimes every day. So it's starting to get to that point where I could tell it needed to be sharpened as far as the reel. And I do have an extra one that is sharp, so I'm gonna put that in today and switch those over and then during the off season I'll send this in to get it sharpened. It's a pretty easy process, just put it in the box and then Real Rollers will send you a thing for UPS, you go drop it off, send it there, they sharpen it, send it right back and it's delivered to you. So really easy, just gonna switch this out real quick. It's actually looking more like spring form here. The new sharpening on the reel helped immensely as well. I can definitely tell a huge difference. You'll start to notice when it's starting to get dull. One, you can just check the grass blade right on the tips and you'll start to see that they're fraying more. Once you get used to these reel mowers though, also you'll sort of just get a feel for when it's cutting clean. It's just sort of experience there, but this thing is really cutting nice now. Thank you. 
Well, it's absolutely a thing of beauty. I got the ryegrass mode. I got the bluegrass mode. All these mono stands back here, they look really good. Except for the grass just hasn't been standing up as well as it does when it's actively growing as much. So it's kind of laying over a little bit. Um, but you still get a clean cut with this. You just don't get all of those blades picked up like you would with a rotary mower. As I said though, that thing made a huge difference in terms of that sharpened reel. It's cutting amazingly well. Really wanted to get that done here before we get to the winter. Make sure I get a nice clean cut going into the winter season. And most likely looking at the forecast, this probably is the legitimate last mow. I thought the last one would be because of the way that the forecast was looking. But as we know here in the Midwest, that changes here very quickly. So now that the weather has extended a little bit farther than I thought it was going to, I'm actually going to add a little more fertilizer. And this is again a key time we've talked about this when you can really utilize a liquid fertilizer because you don't have to wait for it to break down. You don't have to really water it in because using this hose end version here, you're going to get plenty of water down when you apply the fertilizer as well. So I do like applying with a backpack when I'm spraying foliar stuff, but in a case like this, this is really a good key time to use more of a hose end version. You can get some more water down without having to water it in since irrigation is turned off. So I'm looking to apply here around 0.2 pounds of nitrogen. If I'm putting this out at the hose end rate here, it should be just slightly under 0.2. Remember I also said there's a good chance that I was going to need to keep a hose handy and available for the winter time or the cooler season and this would be the exact reason why. Sometimes you just need one and these are so much easier because they, even in the cold, they're not as hard to use in the cold as some of the older ones. Sitting at 71 degrees in the shed. Alright, so there we have the backyard cleaned up. I'm really happy with this fescue and the progress that we've made so far on how far along it is going into the winter season. I'm really happy with that. Next spring I should be able to put some really good stripes in it. The texture of it is much better than I anticipated as well. It's a lot finer leaf blade than I thought it was going to be. So overall, so far, it's been a win. Now going into next season, what I'll be showing you is how it withstands the heat much better than what I had before back here. We'll see how much water it needs, how much we're going to have to deal with fungus and different things that can be a problem with fescue in hot and humid climates which I have here in the middle of summer. I am pretty excited though to see how it turns out. All right a couple orders of business now that I need to get to. So we're having a bunch of holiday sales coming up here and I want to make sure you know about what's going on with those. So the first thing was of course with everything going on in the world I did have these little masks made and I have been wearing this thing out and about and it turned out really nice. There's kind of like a silky material on the outside and of course you're really soft on the inside. So I have been wearing this 
and I do really like the way that it turned out. So I'm gonna be doing a sale on these. So check the description for all of these sales that I'm gonna be mentioning here. The second thing is Simple Lawn is running a 20% off sale on their entire website. So that's a really good deal there. And also they're running a bunch of extra coupons on Amazon. So if you prefer to get something on Amazon from them, you can use those coupons there. And also you get an extra 5% if you use my coupon code Ryan Knorr. Either way, really good deals there, including the box that we have. So if you wanna stock up on that, get it going for next year, it's another really good sale for you there. As for my merchandise on my website here, I wanted to do a 10% off sale on that. So you can get 10% off of anything if you're looking to get a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or something for maybe a gift for someone, that'd be a great time to do that right now. And finally, on my website here, I'm doing sort of an end of season sale here on my guide. So my cool season guide for any of you who have Kentucky bluegrass, perennial ryegrass, tall fescue. This guide will cover everything that I sort of do for my recommendations for a season. It covers everything in there start to finish. So if you want to get a head start on next year, check out what's in that guide. I'm running this for $25 right now. Best price that I've ever run on that. And then hopefully next year, I'll have a couple other key items for you in terms of educational stuff um, that I'm going to start working on very soon. So I want to thank you again for all of your support here, not only on my channel, but on my website as well there. I hope these sales can get you something maybe for the holiday season at a little better price. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you next time.